Hello everybody. Today we're looking at the eLEDlights.com LED 8-foot tube light replacements. And let's take a look. And we notice we've got several different types here. Starting at the bottom, you can see the, the RL in, the, in here. And this is the regular lumens. So the 8RL is regular. Then moving up a little bit more, we have the, the HL. So the 8HL is the high lumen. And then moving up to the, the ultimate, we got the ultra high lumen. So that's the 8 UHL ultra high lumen bulbs. And uh, I am really jazzed about these things. I got uh, two of each, and I wanted to compare these things. I've got, I love LED lights, and I got a whole bunch of eight foot fixtures, and we can do some AB comparisons and take a look at these things and see the difference. If you'll notice, all six of these are the 6000K clear. And when it comes to the eight foot bulbs, it seems like uh, 6000 you know, is more, uh, you know, it has higher light, and it's a little bit more bluish, and they don't really, uh, since they're designed for more uh, factories and warehouses, they don't really go for the, the low color temperatures. So this is for maximum efficiency. So let's just see how it works. Let's take a look at these three bulbs uh, close up. On the bottom, we have our regular lumen, and uh, you can see that the bulbs, or the LEDs, it doesn't have nearly as many LEDs. There appears to be almost 50% more LEDs on the upper one, the upper two, and then we have the the, uh, the high aluminum, and then we have the ultra high lumen. And you can see the the two top ones look exactly the same. This one's supposed to have 5,400 lumens, and this one's supposed to have 4,800 lumens. And this top one is supposed to use four more watts. Here we have 40 watts, and here we have 44 watts. And uh, although I don't see any differences in them. Let's see if we can really see a difference. Uh, otherwise, all these bulbs have the exact same specs. Here's the back side where you can see the labels better. But this one has 4,000 lumens, 4,800 lumens. This one says 5,400 lumens. And you can see the, the, uh, the other differences on the label there if you'd like to stop the video and take a look at it. Well, here we are in my garage where we all have a bunch of eight foot bulbs. And they provide lots of light. It's a nice color temperature. It looks to be about maybe uh, 5,000 K. And uh, anyway, this is a before, although with the auto correcting on a camera, you really can't tell much for the before. I'll try to do some actual AB comparisons so that you can see what these things look like. Well, you never know what you're going to find until you take the covers off. You can see here's the cover right here. You can see this uh, little uh, clip. You screw this little clip. That goes through the little square hole up here and the cover comes off and it hinges on the, the back side. See these are standard eight foot uh, bulbs with a single pin on this side and a single pin on that side. It's just for a little frame of reference. So let's just see what we got here. On this end you can see a blue and a red wire. The red wire goes to the single pin to the right. The blue wire goes to the single pin to the left. But you can see that they're both twisted together to a blue wire here, so uh, the blue goes over to this end, and then you can see a red coming up. Oops, let me just get back here. Guess I'm out of frame. You got a red coming up. And this red twists up with a black and a white, and let's and those black and whites go to the end. So uh, that's what we have. And then there's two wires hanging down. I I think somebody came in here and did something here. I don't know what's going on here, but no problem. Uh, we don't care what's going on here. And don't get those black and whites confused up with the real black and whites, which are coming in from the, the wall. So you can kind of see there's a big hole up in the ceiling there. And there's a white wire coming in here, black wire coming in here. And this is the AC line. So this is the AC line where we have to hook up. We hook up one end of these AC lines to, to the one end of the tube, the other end of the AC line to the other end of the tube, and we'll take the AC line and disconnect it from the, the awful, noisy, power ho uh, hogging ballast. We're all done with the wiring. Let me show you what you have. So remember the, the white wire coming in from the ceiling up there. You see it's coming in from the hole in the ceiling. I got it hooked up to a white wire. I actually cut one of those extra lengths off on the other side because I need a nice long white wire. It goes all the way down. And see here, it's connected to the 
You can see how there's the blue and the red wire up, up, up here at the top. It's connected here. So I got the white wire connected to the blue and red wire right there. So we have the, the neutral hooked up to those two on that side. The white wire is hooked up over here. Come on the wall and we got the black wire. Oops, get that on camera. Here's the black wire. Got the wire net coming through. And the black wire goes all the way up into there and into the, the left side. You notice there's two wires. You can see how there's two black wires going to the left side. So the black wire goes in there, makes the connection to the left pin. Then there's another black wire coming out. I decided to twist that together with one of the white wires coming out. And I, I didn't want any dangling wires, so I actually put all three wires together. So we got both wires from the right side going together with one wire from the left side. And that's the, to the black side of the, of the circuit, which is the hot side. So it's all wired up. Let's put everything back together and try it out. Well, just a little add-on here on the wiring. Sometimes things are a little crazy. Sometimes you get a three-way switch. Now here's a three-way switch where you have the red and you get two whites and two blacks. And maybe one of the whites has a little piece of black painted on it. You know, uh, uh, the thing to remember is, is look to see where the, the transformer wires were. Remember where these wires came off of. Make sure that that's where you wire in your one end here, I got this red wire going to the left end. I got this blue wire going to the blue end. But make sure, and that goes to the common of the, the other switch. I and mean, this is just a big thing. You have to Google this and, and spend a lot of time looking at it. But, but don't make the mistake of uh, not seeing where these red and blacks from the ballast hooked up before you, you, you get started here. And just hook up to there and don't touch any of the rest of the wires. Let's talk about wire nuts for a minute here. You can see I got a nice little assortment of wire nuts. And you can kind of see they come in uh, big sizes and small sizes. So everybody's kind of confused on wire nuts. And uh, generally, you want uh, uh, the little wire nuts for little wires and the big wire nuts for big wires, or if you have multiple big wires, uh, even bigger. Uh, uh, the package, we'll, we'll kind of talk about it here. Let's take a look at the package. Package, it says like the, the smallest ones for like 316 gauge, and we have a two 14 gauge, two uh, 12 gauge, and then like four 12 gauge for the for the biggest, uh, the big red one here. So, and th then there's also the issue of stripping the wires. Read the, read the package. You know, obviously if you have a, of a short little one right like this, you're gonna be cutting or stripping the wires a lot shorter than you would if you had a big one. I mean, if they're done long, the, the bare end of the wire would be sticking out and it wouldn't be covered of insulation. And generally, the fatter the wire is, the shorter you do it. So if you're twisting a, a fat wire and a skinny wire, the skinny wire is going to wrap around a bunch of times, and the fat wire is hard, hardly going to wrap at all. So the, the skinny wire needs to be longer. So those are the things to take in mind. Okay, so I've got a 12-gauge wire here. So I got the wire nut that was for two 12-gauge wires. And I want to take uh, two 20-gauge wires and attach them on here. So I, I cut this like about three eighths according to the instructions. I, I normally would have done it longer, but I'll follow the instructions. And this is half inch. And like I say, I would have maybe done it maybe an eighth of an inch longer too. Now the thing is that we need a mechanical connection. So you, you line up to the insulations together, take a pair of pliers. I hope I'm not blocking the camera here. Oops. Pair of pliers. And you have to, to twist it to where it's mechanically secure. See, it's, it's got to be mechanically secure before you put the wire nut on. And then you put the wire nut on. That's nice and tight and that's not coming off. Each light bulb comes with instructions. These are the 8-foot instructions. And I was just kind of looking here and I noticed on the end here they have red, blue, and then black, black, white, white. And that's exactly the way the fixture was that I had, although somebody had cut some of the wires and kind of rewired it, uh, I think, after, afterwards. But uh, this is, I'm sure, the way it would have came from the factory. Well, can you tell which one's brighter? The left one is the high lumen, and the right one is the regular lumen. And if you kind of look, you notice that you can see a lot more LEDs on the left than on the right. But... Uh, it's really hard to see the difference in light. The colors are very, very similar. Uh, 
And man, I mean, it really lights up the ground. You can see how bright the ground is, how great, bright the desk area is. It wasn't nearly this bright. Just, you can, I mean, just, this is where you really see is looking on the ground. And going up here, here's with just uh, two regular fluorescents. And you kind of see how dark it is. Let me just go over here and go back the other way so that you can really see. I don't know whether the camera picks this up, but you can definitely see over there where the red carpet is. It's very, very bright, and it's not nearly as bright over here. So uh, it's definitely a lot brighter. Like I say, the ones closer, it's the high lumens. So the colors, everything looks pretty much the same. Okay, now we have the ultra high lumens. This bulb uses an extra four watts, and I, I can definitely tell it's a lot brighter. I don't know, I hope the camera can pick it up. Let's change the angle here a little bit. Oops. So at the top of your screen is the high lumen, the bottom of the screen is the regular lumen. And uh, hopefully the, the dynamic range of the camera is enough to pick that up. And uh, as far as light goes, oh come on, autofocus boy. Anyway, uh, you can definitely see how much nicer it's going to be working on, uh, on my machine tools and how I live like a pig and I should really sweep my, uh, my uh, floor. And you compare the colors. Let's get both colors in here. So the, I think these are Philips Cool Whites. So uh, they, they use twice as much power as the LED bulbs. And you can see they definitely don't have nearly as much light. Get, getting back to the ground here. I don't know whether the autofocus will really pick it up. But uh, it's really, I mean, it looks kind of dim underneath the fluorescent bulbs where it's really crisp and bright underneath the high lumen bulbs. So here we have it. There's no reason you have to have two light bulbs installed. You can have just one light bulb installed. This is the high lumen, just for reference and compare it to the, the fluorescent. Uh, let's take a look. I mean, as far as the light goes, I mean, it's really hard to tell the difference between one and two. I mean, uh, it's definitely brighter or two, but I mean, this is adequate light. This is a lot of light. And if you notice, we still seem to have more light here than we do with two uh, 80 watt uh, cool white fluorescents. So there's two fluorescents. Maybe it looks a little darker and you can see it looks brighter here. Or maybe it's just my eyes. I, you know, I think the camera's picking this up too. But uh, so this way you can really save some money. If you, want, if you have an area where you're not trying to like uh, work on uh, heavy duty machinery uh, and you don't want the maximum amount of light, you can do it just maybe one of these things and uh, save some money. Another important thing is how quickly these things turn on. So I got the camera pointed up. Okay, here's off. Let's give it a capacitor time to discharge. Okay, they appear to be fully discharged. I'm going to hit on. Oh my gosh, that was really fast. That was maybe a quarter of a second, you know, maybe 300 milliseconds or so like that. That was uh, really fast. Let's do it again. Here's off. Let it discharge for a little bit there. Okay, it looks like they're all discharged and on. Well, that, that's, uh, that's really fast. All right, let's talk about the issue of sag. Eight foot bulbs are going to sag. It's, uh, it's just something that's going to happen. And you kind of see how close it is up here. And as we go up, you can see that there's a, a little bit more of a gap. And it looks like it's dropped down almost a half an inch. Now, now if you notice, the expensive uh, high lumen bulb is just maybe a little bit stiffer than the regular lumen bulb, but still this is very acceptable, uh, just to give you an idea what it's about. It's uh, very acceptable, but ELED lights has given me some brackets. These are really stiff, snappy brackets. They're sure going to hold the light just fine. And why don't I go ahead and install these uh, clips in the middle, just for the fun, make it so it doesn't sag, and nothing will happen, and keep everything safe. So there's the two brackets I have. Nice sturdy screwdriver. I got a drill, and I'm going to try maybe 330 seconds. 
and figure right here, right in the middle, I put some little black dots there. And I made sure that there weren't any wires in here. By the way, when I, when I put the wires through here, I made sure that I can drill through in these two spots and I won't have any trouble. Now here we have the ultra high lumen to the left and the high lumen to the right. And uh, I can spot a little difference. I hope the camera can spot it. I just wanted to get an idea of how these little clips worked. And by the way, these are really nice stiff clips. I mean, this thing is in here secure. I mean, there's nothing wiggling around now. I mean, with these clips up here, this thing is really installed, very solid. And uh, ELEDlights.com, uh, you know, I bought a lot of them, but they're the only ones that have a clip. So it's a nice 